Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step Playsit tutorial. In this video, I will be taking you through everything that we can do on Playsit from what you can get on Playsit for free and what is included in the paid plans, how you can create mockups on Playsit, how you can create different designs, including print on demand designs, how you can create videos and much more. The first step is to sign up for a Placeit account. So if you do not yet have an account with Placeit and you would like to sign up for free, you can do so using the first link down in the description. Once you click on that link, you will be taken over to this screen right here. This is the Placeit dashboard and up here we have mockups, designs, logos, videos, gaming, learn. And the first thing that I want to discuss is what you can actually get for free when using Placeit. With most of the designs and different things that you can do on Placeit, you do have to pay for these. However, there is a limited number of mockups and designs that you can actually get for completely free. The way we find these is we can go up to this top search bar and simply search free right here and you can see it's going to bring up all of these free designs. Even though we have searched free, some of these designs are going to be paid designs but you can easily tell which designs are free by this free icon in the top left corner. If you are searching for something specific that is free, we can go up here and then maybe type in free mockup and this is going to show us all of the free mockups that we have access to. If we want to find free designs, we can go up here and type in free designs and this is going to bring up all of the designs on Placeit that are free. Now that you understand what you can get for free on Placeit and how you can actually get those things for free, let's jump into the actual tutorial and the meat and potatoes of what you can do with Placeit. Up here, we have some basic sections that show us that we can create mockups, designs, logos, videos. This is a gaming section right here. And then we also have learn where we can learn more about Placeit. Under each section, this is going to show us exactly what we can create. So under mockups, we can create different apparel, digital mockups, print mockups, print on demand, and then promotional. And inside, it's going to give us even more of a precise breakdown. For example, if I'm looking for hoodie mockups, I can come into here and this is going to show me all of the different hoodie mockups that I can get. However, when navigating Placeit, I find these menus to be inefficient and it's much easier to just go up to the search bar and search exactly what you are looking for. For example, if I am looking for hat mockups, I can simply search for hat mockup into this top search bar and this is going to bring up all of the different hat mockups that we can get. Once you have found the specific mockup that you are looking for, we can simply click into that mockup and this is going to take us over to the design area. In the middle here, we can see a live preview of what this image is going to look like. On this left hand side, we can change the color of what we are creating and then upload a design right here. On the right hand side, we have some mockups related to the mockup that we are currently looking at. Let's now go in and start designing this. So we can click into this hat color and change the color of this hat. We can change it to this blue color right here and then the preview is going to update in real time. I prefer this as the white so let's put this back and then we can upload a design using this button and then clicking upload from your device. We can then select the image that we would like to upload. I'm just going to go for my company logo and in here this is where we can crop and resize the design. So in the bottom right hand corner, we are going to see a live preview of how this looks. And then in here, we can make the design larger, we can make the design smaller, and overall just make this so that this is the perfect size we are looking for. Once you are happy with this, we can click on crop. And just like that, we created our first mockup. You can edit and change the mockup at any time by using the resize button on this left hand side. This is going to allow us to resize and move this around. So you can see moving this around, it goes slightly off center, but let's put this back in the middle. And then once again, we can crop this. We can also replace the image with another design by clicking on replace and choosing the image that we would like to replace this original image with. And then finally, we can go ahead and remove the design completely by clicking on remove. We can also add this to favorites. So right now, this is going to favorite this mockup template we can save the mockup template to a certain folder. So I can click in here and maybe rename this folder hats. 
When I then click on create folder, this is going to create this new folder that I can save the mockup that we just created to. We can also share this mockup by clicking on this share button. And this is going to generate us a URL that we can share on the internet. If I paste this link into a new tab, this is going to take us over to this design where people can see the mockup that we just created. Finally, we can download this mockup using this download button on the right hand side, and this is going to process the mockup. Placeit are also going to send you an email when it's ready, so you don't have to sit here waiting for this mockup to be processed. We can simply exit out of this, create new mockups, and we will get an email once it is processed. However, it looks like our mockup is already processed, so we can simply click here to download, and that is going to download this mockup. There is a wide range of mockups that we can create. For example, I can go into the search bar and search for MacBook mockup, just like this. And once again, we can choose from any of these mockups. And in the design center, use this in the exact same way that we did to create the hat mockup. Next, we are going to be talking about designs. I am going to search for designs in this top search bar right here, and this is going to bring up a load of different mockups that we can edit and customize using Placeit to create brand new designs. We can sort these designs by the newest, the most popular, and best selling using this tab on the left hand side. We also have this template or filter section on the left hand side where we can scroll down and get an even deeper dive into what we are looking for. However, once again, this search bar is going to be the most useful when finding a design that you are looking for. For example, we can search for Halloween design and this is going to bring up the best Halloween designs that we can choose from right here. We can search for cat designs and this is going to bring up a list of cat designs that we can use and edit to turn into our own original design. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And once again, this is going to take us into a design menu that looks completely different to the menu we had before. Once again, we have a live image preview in the middle here. And on the left hand side, this is the main control panel to edit this design. If I want to change the text, we can simply click into this text box right here that says too cute. I can delete this and then create my own text of what I want this to say. I have just entered in the name of my company and we can see this is going to update in real time. Let's go down to the second section and type in cat and we can see once again this is going to update in real time. Now this is a fantastic segue into this next section because this bit moved over. To move text around and even move images around we can do this using the live design section where we can simply click and drag this design to where we want it to be. We can also resize the images and text by clicking and dragging on these blue dots that you can see in each corner of the selected element. So let's go ahead and get this all set up all in the middle, just like that. We can also change the main image shown in the middle here by clicking on the edit button on this left hand side and then search for exactly what we are looking for. We can search between graphics, which is going to bring up some pre-built graphics that are here by Placeit. I can search for cat, and then we can choose from one of these designs. I'm going to select this cat right here, and the original image is now going to be replaced by the design or element that I just selected. If you want to completely remove designs from this, you can simply click on the element that you would like to delete, and click backspace on your keyboard to completely delete that element. If you want to add the element back in, we can click on these three dots, click on show, and just like that, this element is now going to be added back in. To add any other element to your design, whether it be text or images, we can click on this add button in the bottom left corner, and we can either add text or graphic. So let's go ahead and add in some new text. And in here, we can just say subscribe, just like that. Let's make this smaller and let's also add in another image. So let's click add, then we can add graphic. And once again, choose if we want to add from one of these pre-built graphics, upload an image from our computer, or go to my place it, where it's going to show us all of the recent designs that we have. Once again, I'm going to go for graphics and search for another cat. And then in here, I can add in this cat image, and this is going to add in to the design. 
We can also change the font and color of the text by once again going to this left hand side, clicking on the font right here, and then we can choose from any of these fonts. I'm going to set this to this font bangers, and we can see in real time this font is going to update. To change the color, we can use the color selector in the bottom right hand corner of the element in this control panel, and then we can choose from any of these colors. I'm going to set this to a neon green, and you can see this is going to update once again in real time. You may have also noticed that we have this kind of background or highlight on this text right here. To remove this, we can simply click on this teardrop icon and then deselect the text highlight, or we can even change the highlight color. Once again, I will select this green, and this is going to update in real time. Now let's remove this. Finally, we can change the background color of this design by clicking on background and then selecting the color that we want to change this to. Once again, we have all of the same options where we can favorite this design that we just created to save it for later. We can save to specific folders. So we can either select the folder we created earlier or add a new folder up here. Let's just call this cats. And then we can create this folder. We can also make a copy of this design share this design, and once again, click this download button to start the processing process. For logos, once again, we have a similar layout where we can highlight logos and then select exactly what we are looking for. If I was a finance or legal firm, I can come down to finance and legal and then choose an even more granular category. Alternatively, we can just use this search bar, which is a much better option. I searched for finance logo, and right here, we are going to get brought up a bunch of finance logos. We can find one that we like, and once again, click into this. This is going to open the editing dashboard, and in here, we can go ahead and create this logo. So let's change this top text to say, once again, G4 North, and then underneath, let's say finance. We can once again resize any of this by simply dragging and dropping. So let's make this logo bigger. Then let's make this text bigger and also make this finance section at the bottom bigger and drag these into the middle. We can once again change this logo or delete this by clicking on the backspace to delete, or we can go over and edit this logo. So right here, we have a few finance logos to choose from. I can maybe select this right here. This is going to get dropped in, and then we can change the color of this by once again clicking into edit, and we can see the two main colors that make this up. Let's say I want to make this blue. Let's go for a lighter blue right here. Then we can back out, go to the red, and choose more of a cyan blue right here. We can also change the color of the text. So let's change this to the same blue and the same blue. And just like that, I have now created my finance logo. Maybe let's make this a little bit more like this. Yeah, then we can move this down. And as I say, this took me about two minutes and I just created a brand new logo inside of Placeit. We can also create videos inside of Placeit. So right here, we have 3D video mockups, animated logos, Twitch screens, YouTube videos, and there's just so many things that we can do inside of Placeit. In this example, let's create a merch video. And once we select this, we can see all of the videos that we have to choose from. In this example, I'm going to select this video right here, and then we can click on edit to this video, and this is going to take us over to the editing screen. From here, we can simply go ahead and insert an image. Let's go for recently uploaded this time, and select this logo once again. My logo is now going to be added in here, and this just needs to take a few seconds to fully update. Just like that, my video is now processed, and I now have my logo on this t-shirt right here. If we want to maybe resize this, we can simply go into resize, make this a little bit smaller and hit crop. And just like that, this is going to update in real time. We can also add audio to any videos that you create by clicking on this add audio button and then selecting from the audio library that place it have. We can see all of the different categories down here. We have things like blues, calm, cheerful, chill, Christmas. So if we click into this Christmas category, this is going to bring up all of the Christmas audio that we can get a preview by clicking on this play button. And then if you like this and want to add this to the video, we can click on select and that will add the audio to your selected video. 
So that is very simple and that's creating a mock-up video, but how about creating something a little bit more advanced? Let's go ahead and try this out with a YouTube intro. We can simply search for whatever we are looking for in this top section right here, and let's select this one right here. In this editing panel, we have full customization over all of this. First of all, we can go up to texts and change exactly what we want this to say. So in this top section, I'm going to select this to GeForce, and then let's change this bottom section to Cars. Once again, this is going to now go ahead and process so that we can see a live preview of how this is going to look. Just like that, this is now going to update in real time. This now says GeForce Cars, and then we also have some text down here that we can change. Once again, we can change the font that shows up here by clicking into this section, or change the color by using this color selector on the left hand side. We can also upload a logo to this or completely remove the logo that is pre-generated. And then most importantly, you can upload your own video that you want to put behind or once again, select from any of the placed videos. In here, maybe I can go to the search bar and search for cars. And then we can see all of these car videos that are going to show up. I'm going to select this one right here. And then once again, this is going to load in a preview to show me how this looks in real time. As you can see, that is now updated. And what I just added into here is now going to show up in the video. We can also change the background color, the graphics color, which is this green that you see here, the tint, the image, and everything like this. Once again, we can toggle audio on and off, replace the audio, see how this sounds, and that is how you can create videos inside of Placeit. Finally, let's cover some back-end settings. So if we go up to this top right, we can see the account right here. We can click into my account, where we can see the current plan that we have, the subscription details, any past invoices and payments that we have, the payment card that we have linked, your username, and then right here, we have email notifications. In here, we can see exactly what we are going to be notified, notified of via email, and we can completely customize this. Personally, I don't prefer anything coming to my email, so I will click update. In this section, you can also easily cancel your subscription by this button right here. We can click on cancel, select the reason why we are canceling this, and then click cancel my subscription. We can also go to the My Download section, and this is going to show you every single download that you have downloaded from Placeit. In here, we can delete these from this area, download this once again, or click on Make More. In this Account section, we can also see everything that you have favorited. We also have access to all of the folders that we have created to easily navigate this area and find the folders that you want to have access to. We can also do this by going to my Placeit right here. And this is going to show you a dashboard of everything that you have done on Placeit. We can see all of the designs that I have edited. We can see my favorites. And we also have the my folders section that is once again shown right here. So that is my step-by-step -step tutorial on Placeit. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.